Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into th colon text time leap attribute. Well, this attribute is responsible for displaying text that is evaluated from the expression inside it. For example, if you can see this code snippet over here, here we are using th colon text time leap attribute and then here we are using variable expression that is dollar within a curly braces we are passing message attribute name. Alright, so basically th colon text time leap attribute, it will evaluate this variable expression and it will print the result as a text all right and if you can notice here this hello good morning text so this is basically dummy data well whenever th colon text family attribute fail to evaluate this expression then it will print this hello good morning dummy data all right th colon text attribute which evaluates its value expression and sets the result as a body of the host tag effectively replacing hello good morning text we can see in the code th colon text family attribute it will evaluate this expression and it will set the result of this expression in a body of this host tag and here host tag is nothing but the paragraph element all right and if there are any issue or if there is anything went wrong while evaluating this expression then this th colon text family attribute will print this dummy data that is hello good morning now let's go ahead and let's see a couple of examples for this th colon text family attribute well let me go to IntelliJ idea and let's go to variable expression dot html file and within this file here if you can notice here we are using th colon text family attribute and then here we are using variable expression well th colon text family attribute will evaluate this variable expression and it will set the result of this expression as a body for this strong tag all right so this is how we can use th colon text attribute to evaluate the variable expression next if you go to selection expression dot html file here we are using th colon text attribute with selection expression it means th colon text attribute will evaluate this selection expression and it will set the result of this expression as a body to this strong html tag next let's go to message expression dot html file and here if you can notice here we are using th colon text family attribute to evaluate message expression okay so this th colon text attribute will evaluate this message expression and it will set the result of this expression as a body to this h2 element tag all right so these are the couple of examples for th colon text family attribute well basically we use th colon text family attribute to evaluate family expression and it will set the result of that expression as a body of the host tag okay i hope you understood how we can use a th colon text timelip attribute in a timelip templates all right great i will see you in the next lecture